Okay, so to make our players be able to just fly la fire lasers by holding down the button and letting multiple lasers keep on coming out of the front of our spaceship, what we'll do is add a simple looping kind of um, countdown to our code. And obviously to do that, we're going to need to have a value that will say how long we're going to take between each shot. So let's go into our script here. And we're first of all going to go to our player controller and we're going to create a couple of variables here. We're going to create a public float shot delay. So shot delay will be how long we wait between each bullet that we fire. And then we're going to add below that a private float. Oh, that should be private. A private float shot counter. So shot delay we're going to set to be, say if we set it to be 0.2 of a second or something like that, uh, whatever kind of feels good. But shot counter will be a number, that will be the number we actually use to count down constantly. And basically we'll set it so that whenever our shot counter gets below zero, then we can shoot a bullet out. So what we're going to do now is in our update loop here, so at the moment we have it that as soon as our player presses the button down, we fire off one bullet. So that's grand, we want to keep doing that, but we also want to make sure that just after we fire off that first bullet, we're going to set our shot counter to be equal to whatever our shot delay is. So say we have our shot delay set to be 0.2 of a second, our shot counter now will be set up to be 0.2. The next thing we're going to do is add another if statement and say if our input dot get button for fire one. And the reason we do this is because what we're checking here is, is the fire one button being held down at the moment. So we have get button down means the very first moment that you press it. Then we have get button for as long as the button is being held down. So if the button is being held down, what we want to do in here is say, okay, if the button is being held down, start counting down our timer. So our shot counter, we'll make that count down by saying shot counter minus equals time dot delta time. So we're taking away the amount of time it takes for each update frame of the screen to happen. And we're taking that away from our shot counter. And then as it gets lower and lower, we want to check and see, should we fire a bullet yet? So how do we do that? We go, if our shot counter, oh, not shot delay, shot counter, if our shot counter is less than zero, actually less than or equal to zero. So if our shot counter is less than or equal to zero, basically what we want to say is, okay, we know we should fire off another bullet now. So let's copy this bit of code, instantiate our bullet, pop that in there. And then also let's reset our counter back up to where it should be full again, like this. So now every time it gets to this point, every time our shot counter goes below zero, it'll now say, okay, shot counter, you go back up to being point two, and then we'll, on the next update loop around through, we'll go, okay, take away some time from the shot counter. It probably won't be below zero yet, so we'll just ignore this bit of code. Then we'll go back through the whole update loop again, and then we'll go to here and take away another bit of time over and over again, and eventually it'll get back down below zero, and we'll fire another bullet. That's the simple little loop we'll have going for this countdown timer here. So that's in place now, so let's save that and go back into our Unity project. We'll let it compile, we'll go to our player, and we'll have to set a value for our shot delay over here, scroll down. So shot delay, like I said, we'll set it for 0.2. That seems reasonable enough. It might be a bit fast, but we'll find out in a second. Now we'll hit play. And if I just hold the button down, there we go. I think that's a reasonable steady stream of bullets. And it's a bit easier for our players to handle. And of course, if they want to fire a bit faster, they have the opportunity to go mad all they want. But if they want to just keep like a steady stream going, they now have uh, at this little shot delay. So it also adds an extra bit of a game mechanic where there's a reward for the players if they kind of hit the shoot button really fast. But if they're feeling that it's a bit too much work on their fingers, then they can just relax and just hold the button down and keep firing away. So perfect, it works just the way we want it to. And just to demonstrate it working as well, I'm just gonna go over here and set the 
the uh, inspector to be in debug mode. So if I scroll down, you can see our sock shot counter here. And if you just keep your eye on it as we fire our bullets, I see I set the shot delay a bit higher. So we set it to one second. And if we hold it down, you can see the t the shot counter timing down as it goes. And every time it goes below zero, it pops back up to being one. You can see it be one there for a fraction of a second. It doesn't stay there for very long. But there you go. It's working absolutely perfectly just the way we want it to. Konnichiwa.